again. It's a beautiful morning, 4 o'clock in the morning at the cabin. You can see something going across the sky and going down. Nice. It's going to be another hot day. I'm up early. Hope to get a lot of things done before noon and then call it quits. All right, so now that we have some daylight, the first thing we're going to do today is fix my pump, okay? This, uh, this well is my primary source of water here at the cabin. Uh, it's my primary, but it's not my only source. I also have a creek that runs through the property um, that I could get water from. And I also have a 50 gallon rainwater barrel. I could use that. And I also have a good supply of bottled water on hand. So uh, you always have to have lots of water. And, uh, but anyways, this is my primary this is my primary source of water, and right now, I don't have any. So what happened was, uh, it started losing its prime, it wouldn't hold its prime, and now it won't even take a prime, so nothing. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to take this hand pump off, I'm going to lift it out, I'm going to take the pipe out, and I'm going to put a new footer valve on the bottom. Put it back together, and hopefully I'm going to have water again. So let's see, let's see what happens. Okay, so uh, I'm using the tractor to hold this up in the air, uh, not because it's heavy, but the tractor is kind of acting as a third arm. So it's going to hold this up in the air while I disconnect the pipe from the pump. And uh, because it's very helpful. Sometimes you really wish you had uh, help out here, but some things are easier to do with two people. The other thing you can do is if you have a clamp like this, you can go ahead and just clamp this on the pipe. And what that'll do is that'll prevent, so when I disconnect this, that's going to prevent this pipe from going down into the well, because if this pipe drops down into the well, uh, that's the end. There's no way to ever get it out of there. So, yeah. That's a good idea. Anyways, I'm going to disconnect this now. That water's cold. <laughs> Man, that's cold. Okay, so uh, I pulled the pipe out. Um, and I'm looking down in the well. This well is 100 feet deep. They had to drill through 100 feet of rock to get to, uh, to, get to the water. Um, but the water has always been within, oh, six feet, six, eight feet of the, of the surface. So, theoretically, uh, a hand pump well can only pump water uh, from 22 feet below the surface. So I see that it's uh, the water level is down quite a bit. Uh, we have had a hot, dry summer so far, but I don't think it's super far. But I am going to measure it just for fun and see how far down the water level is right now. Okay, there it is, 13 feet. So the water level is 13 feet down. So that's not too bad. I still got uh, 10 more feet. So that's all right. Okay, so this is, uh, this is my new foot valve. And what this does, there's an adapter here. This just goes into the bottom of your pipe and this acts as a strain. It strains out anything bad you don't want coming up through your pipe. And what it does is it only allows water to flow one way, which is this way, up towards the surface. So when you prime your well and you fill this, this pipe with water, the water won't go down any further. So when, when this pipe becomes full, you've created a vacuum. And that's why when you start pumping, 
you can pump the water up from here up to the surface. And then you keep your prime because the water can't go back down through this. See? So we're going to uh, put this on and see what happens. This tape will ensure that it's a waterproof seal because if it's not waterproof and it leaks, then it won't work. And just once we have that in the pipe, I have to screw that on tight. Again, no leaking. So there it is. The only thing left to do is try it. And I'm putting 38 feet a pipe in. 38 feet and the water is down 13 feet did I say? I think it said 13 feet. I may have to heat that a little bit. If you heat it with a torch for a couple of minutes, it loosens up, it softens up that plastic a bit. Makes it a little more supple so you can slide it over the pump. a lot better. There it goes. There. Okay. There. If that doesn't hold it, well. There. Move the clamp. All that's left to do is put it back down, bolt it down, and try it. Ah, oh, yes, I think it's working. There we go. Oh yeah, that's what I like to see. Awesome, that's awesome. Oh yeah, that water is ice, ice cold. In fact, later I think I'm gonna take a bath in this ice cold water. Maybe not. That is wicked cold. Awesome. Well, thanks for joining me today, guys. So I'm happy to have my water back. And uh, yes, this water's safe to drink. It's great water. Um, 
but I also have a couple of ways here as well to uh, filter water. I have a, a big Aquafina water filter. Uh, I also have a, a small Catadyne water filter that I take with me if I go uh, fishing or hunting or something like that. Uh, everybody should have something like that. You can drink water out of anything, out of a mud puddle if you had to. So everybody should have one of those or a life straw or something. Anyways, water is very important. You can't, uh, can't get by without it. Oh, man, that's good. Anyway, we'll call it quits here, guys. Again, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Uh, if you don't mind, give the video a thumbs up. Leave me some comments below. If you're new, subscribe. Um, and uh, in the comments, if you have, a, if you're, if you have something off-grid, tell me what you got. I love reading those things, seeing what other people are doing. Tell me what your water supplies are, what your backup plans are for water, um, what kind of water filters do you have or use, uh, all that stuff. I love reading about that stuff. So uh, yeah, drop me, uh, drop me some lines below and we'll see you next time here at the cabin. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs>